Hi guys, this is Eddie. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. This is a Jeep Liberty and has a problem on a ignition system. The problem is unable to turn in on the ignition switch. When I dismantle the ignition switch and I was found out, there is a broken piece. It's shown here that is the broken piece which is unable to turn it on. There is a aluminum sink and it was broken. Okay, this is the breakdown vehicle which was uh, parking at the basement of the building. And they called me to check what is the problem of the ignition switch. Then, I was dismantled the ignition system. I removed the ignition key cylinder and the piece of the uh, ignition switch. That is the one. Look at the tip of the ignition key cylinder. When I dismantle it, that one, so the part is not available and it is costly. It costs around $1,100 if you will uh, get this part but including with the steering column assembly. Due to unavailability of the parts, I did the uh, remedy. So I do it. And I was inserted a boosting and uh, I went to the machine shop to make a replacement for that uh, broken piece. I gave them instruction to fabricate that boosting. <laughs> it's the car, that is the car with the owner and he is happy because uh, there is no expenses on the parts.